we've been looking at conflicts with others. And today we want to go in and understand why one has conflict with others. You know, James asked, what's the source of your quarrels and conflicts? So obviously there was a problem going on. There were wars and battles going on, or he wouldn't have asked the question. Which brings us today to look at chapter 4, verse 2, and understand why. What was the source? What is the source today? It's the same today. And James says, one's conflict with others, others within the church, is because of one's pleasures that are waging war within its members. External conflict is due to internal conflict. That's what James is trying to get across to us. It's all about our selfish wants, our selfish lusts. Do you remember we looked at lust back in chapter 1? We saw that our lusts lead to temptation and temptation to sin and sin to death. James is cycling back around to something he's already addressed. Why? Well, you and I are going to understand that the lust of the flesh the lust of our eyes, the pride of life. Does any of that ring a bell? We've already looked at it. But every conflict that one has with others can be traced back to one of those three areas of lust. Think about it. When someone is battling their selfish wants, their selfish desires, their selfish lusts and pleasures, when they want to control situations to fulfill their selfish ambitions, they become hostile towards anyone who stands in their way of getting what they want. So what do you have? Conflict. When someone is so consumed with his or her selfish wants, there will always be conflict. Let's go in and hear what the Lord has to say to us today. 